Hey y'all, Farmer Wayno is back and better than ever because I have yet another Daddy Do project. How many have we done? Uh, too many to count, I don't have enough fingers. The list is never ending and he thinks this could be the last one, but it's, it isn't. I had a dilapidated carport and I needed to replace it. So what we did, came up with some ideas, got some quotes, decided that the best bet for me would be to go on the World Wide Web, order a pergola kit and put it together. We ordered the biggest that they make, three car garage. I'm going to use two of those for cars, one of them for a covered outdoor kitchen, outdoor kitchen that I am personally the most excited about. And let me just tell you, this project has been an adventure. So let's back up to yesterday and get this party started. This thing is huge. It was built in Pennsylvania and then put on a truck and driven all the way from Pennsylvania to Alabama. So I've already peeked inside. I kind of cheated a little bit, but Farmer Wayno wanted to make sure that we got all the instructions ahead of time and we knew what we were doing before we started this video. In the box, this whole booklet of instructions, step by step by step, let me tell you, they are very detailed. And then we have all the screws in the world. Like I'm saying, all of them. It's The box is so heavy. We did not have to buy a single extra thing for this pergola. It all came in this kit and that is the thing I'm most excited about this because we have a plan, we have all the materials that we need. What Farmer Wayno seems to think that is going to be a piece of cake, so I'm here for it. If anything is cake, I'm down. As compared to the greenhouse, how good do you feel? I feel real good. Um, they made a good set of plans. The video is um, easy to watch and learn. Uh, I feel good about it. Step one, open the box. Begin by sliding your standard post skirt over the top of each post. All right, why don't we go ahead and move all this material and kind of stack it in the appropriate stack so we'll have it and we'll know which post and which arm to pull from. Cool. Is that good? And good it'll get plan. closer to the project. Beautiful. Teamwork makes the dream work, Daddy-o. It does, Ivy-o. We don't have to lay it out like this, but if I'm building a kit, I like to kind of lay it out to visualize it a little bit better than just trying to build it and then I did something wrong. Tip from Farmer Wayno number one, whenever you're building the kit, lay it all out kind of like a puzzle and then it makes it make sense. That's right, because in a puzzle you do what? You put all the edges around first and then you build the puzzle. Make sure the beam is flush with the top and centered on the post. Flush with the top. See right there, that's centered. See how it is? Yeah. And then that's top. That's what I just okay. said. <laughs> Got it? Okay, now what? I don't know. If you build anything, try to use a star bit. They don't spin as much and they're easier to put in and not strip the head. They supply these square bit and they're usually real good and they are, but I prefer a star bit. This has been the scariest part of this entire thing. Let me just tell you that much. Because it's heavy, we're lifting things above our head. We had to figure out about these picnic tables. Thank the Lord above that I have three picnic tables because that is way safer than a ladder. We have one full side up and now we're just gonna work in our way down the pergola on one side. So we are attaching this post for this second garage bay um, to the cross beam. And then once it's attached, we'll lift it up and, it's, and screw it up at the top. And then we'll do the same thing for the back cross post. That's good. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm scared about not being able to hold it. The rest of it's not gonna go anywhere. You just kind of hold it in place and you'll be good. I don't think it's gonna go, you just need, you're just really balancing okay. it. Okay. Okay. Ah! Ah! It's scary. You're good. It feels like it's leaning a lot. Well, it's gonna lean and move, see, look, but it's, it's not going anywhere. Okay, let it go. Uh-uh. We're good, I'm gonna, we have to kick the bottom post down there.
Okay. Harvey. I wish that I had an Apple Watch so that you could have felt my heart rate whenever that was just occurring. It was really scary. My heart rate, it was going like this. Ivy's was going like this. I saw that my life flash before my eyes. Ready? Okay. You got it? <laughs> Feel a little better about this one. I know what to expect. Now what are you doing? So it's not doing this. Cool. We're gonna brace it to your wall just to hold it. So unlike the greenhouse, we are making sure this is level. One screw is holding that up together. That feels it's, like it's, my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just hanging on by one screw. It, it's sufficient for now. Woo! I mean, you have to know and trust who you're dealing with. I trust you with all my heart, Wayno. I know you do, Ivy O. Last beam, Ivy. Last screw up here, and then we can start the top. Contact. So far, this, this has been pretty easy. The only part that's been hard is having faith and trust in my building partner, in that it was kind of touch and go there for a second about whether or not it was gonna fall on top of my head, but we made it work. So I have this rafter right here. It's notched. We're doing, there are four of these total for the four posts. So the two center ones are gonna go up and the notch side goes up so that then the cross beams fit right inside these pre-notched holes, which makes it so easy. Highly recommend a kit, honestly. Like don't try to notch anything yourself. Like. It is worth the extra money to have someone do this for you. We are quickly losing daylight, so we are going to do as much as we can for the rest of tonight until the daylight is gone, and then come right back at it again tomorrow doing the same thing. I think tomorrow, though, it'll go pretty quickly. It will. So far, so good. I'm, I'm very happy. Okay, good morning. We are back. It is day two. It held up overnight, which is good. It was not windy yesterday, but it is windy today. So what we have left is putting the cross pieces up on the rafters that we secured last night. And then all we have left to do is screw all of them together. There, there is a screw for every little place where everything meets. So I don't know how many screws that is, but I, my guess is about 200 of them. So Farmer Wayno and I are gonna hop up on top of the roof. I'm gonna help him along. And that, that's really the last step to secure the pergola. Has it been as easy as the greenhouse, harder? Um, it's, I think it's been easier. The greenhouse easier. is more custom fit and it took three days where this one has only taken- One and a half. Really one and a half, right. Cool, all right, well here. Thank you don't you. need a sign. I needed my hat. Perfect. Keep the sun off this ball here. Now you look like Farmer Wayne. Yeah, now it's not shiny. Skin care is important, people. All right. Last drill. Last, Last screw. You can oh, do I get honest. to do it. Cheers. We did it! Y'all, what an adventure. It was fun. It was. Thank another, you for helping experience. me. You're welcome. He does anything. You see this pinky? He'll do anything I ask. Pretty much. You... Always and forever. Right? Yep. <laughs> what you supposed to, that's, what daddy's supposed that's to do. That's what daddies are supposed to do. Right. Thank you for all your help. I'm so excited. I can't wait to enjoy this. We just have to fix it up and it's we're gonna have some parties. Your mama's been our chef today instead of you having to cook. It's been Take, keeping us fed. Every I mean, all we you could use all the help. That's right. All right. You know what we gotta tell them? Like, comment, share. Don't forget to ring the bell. And subscribe, all the social media things. Put in the comments what you wanna see Farmer Wayno and I do next because- I think a cruise would be good next. <laughs> yeah. no, no more working. I think that would be good. What do y'all think? Um, I think maybe like a house project, but you know, up to y'all. Put it in the comments what we should do below. We will see y'all next time. Happy spring. Bye y'all. Bye y'all.